In this video, we're going to show an example of how we can set up Google Earth to do real estate analysis and track the status of specific parcels. I'm going to open up Google Earth. And over here on the left, you can see that I have set up different layers for the United States, the regions, home builders, and land developers. We're going to take a closer look at the United States. And from this view, we could zoom in on the different states around the country. In this example, let's go down and take a look at Florida. And this shows us Florida and some of the major markets. Now we can also look back at, say, Illinois. We can also zoom out and take an overall look at the United States and divide our properties up into different regions of the country. For this example, I've set up Northeast, Midwest, Northwest, Southwest, and the Southeast regions. Taking a closer look at the Northeast, we could see our presence in the Northeast of any communities that we had up there, or any properties we were looking to purchase or develop. Let's take another look at the Southwest. Down here in the Southwest, for example, I will turn on the home building company Lennar and see what their presence is in the Southwest. Here you can see some of their communities, and this data is just for testing purposes only. Um, we're going to zoom in now on the Texas state, and we do that by opening up our USA bracket and moving our scroll bar down till we find Texas, double click on Texas, and now our map zooms in on just that state. Within that state, we want to take a closer look at the major market of Dallas-Fort Worth. So I'm going to double click on Dallas-Fort Worth. And it's going to take us in a little closer on that view. Now to make this a little clearer, we want to get rid of the region layer so that we can see the properties more clearly. We're also going to turn on some of the other home builders that are present in this market. And For this example, I've only got four set up. They're Hobnanian, which is shown with these yellow flags that appear. I've also set up KB Homes, and KB Homes will show as these black flags with the KB on them. And uh, in addition to Lennar, I also have Pulte, which are set up with these green flags with their logo in white on the flag. Now we can see all of these different markets, and one of the things we want to do is get a little more detail about each community. So we're going to look at the Pulte community of Greens of Oakmont, and I can double click on that, and it pulls up a link that's going to take us out to the internet and pull up information that Pulte has regarding the Greens of uh, Oakmont. And I don't think that's the title of that community. It's uh, the Greens at the Greens at the Fairway or something. Yes, the Fairways of Champion Circle. So that's the community that they have in there. Now I'll go back to our map and now I'm going to pull up a Lennar community. How about Hidden Cove? And on this one, I've actually entered in the price range, new homes going from 189.9 to 228.990. Um, this can be accessed quickly without going through the link, and you can see what the price range is. We could have done that for any of the flags on this map. We'll hit the link here, and this will take us to Lennar's page regarding Hidden Cove. And there's Lennar's information on Hidden Cove on the screen now. I'll go back to Google Earth. We'll do one more of these for purposes of example. The landings at Waterstone, another Pulte community. I open up the, I click on the flag and open up this balloon and you can see the link in it. I click on the link and it takes us to their website for that particular community. And there's the information that they have. Now I'm going to go back to the Google Earth map. And from this Google Earth map, we're going to move in just on the northern section of the Dallas-Fort Worth market. Um, I'm going to go to an area near the town of Fairview. Now the map is showing us Fairview. And in this view, we can see here's Lennar has a community. We have KB Homes has a community. Pulte has a community. But there's other information we'd like to see as well. Uh, for example, we'd like to see what the land developers are doing in this market. So I'm going to go to my land developers uh, tab over on the left. I'm going to open that up, and here's a community that Holligan has, their Fairview property. Hermanson has one up here by the airport, Hermanson McKinney Airport property. And then we're going to open up one more 
Savannah has their Country Lane Senior Community located right near Fairview and just south of the McKinney Greens community. Now I can get more information from Savannah about their uh, senior community if I wanted it by clicking on this flag, bringing up the balloon, and showing the link that will take us right out to Savannah's website and we can see information on that company about any of their sites that they have. This gives us information that we can dive into regarding all the different communities and everything that's out there. Now let's take a closer analysis and for purposes of illustration let's use Lennar's McKinney Greens community. So I'm going to go in here to Lennar. I'm going to open up Texas. I'm going to open up Dallas-Fort Worth market and within the Dallas-Fort Worth market I can see a number of communities that Lennar has and I'm going to select McKinney Greens. Now you can see our map is going to zoom right into McKinney Greens. Now on this property I've set up four lots as an example of something we can do as far as taking the detail down to the lot level. In this case down here in the lower left section I've set up lot uh, 54 and I can double click on this lot on the left and we'll zoom in to lot 54. And now we can see because I've set this up with as a red opacity we can see through the lot and we can still see even though it's red we can still see underneath it and see what's going on underneath there and at the moment there's nothing it's a vacant lot uh, we could have made this a solid red blue green any color any opacity uh, this is just an example that I selected but I like to have the opacity layer set so that you can see through the lot to see what's going on underneath if we jump over here and look at lots one two and three um, it's good to see through the lot because you can see that there are homes on two, already built on two of those lots. Now if we go back out and look at the entire community, we can click on the balloon for this community and I've added something extra into this one and that is we have a link to a website where it's going to pull up our interactive map. So by clicking on that link this will take us to the mapping system that we've set up for McKinney Greens. Now it's going to pull up our interactive system for accessing the data and the specific details behind that community. For a demonstration of the interactive detail maps, view our interactive maps video also available.